Hey everybody, JMac here. I'm getting ready to tag a version one of Blueprint now that it supports the initial set of features. So I wanted to demonstrate what these look like. Using the definition from the readme file, Blueprint can generate multiple Laravel components from this 20 line YAML file. So let's see it in action by running the artisan command Blueprint build. Now by default, it automatically loads the draft YAML file in your project root. So you don't need to specify that. When I run this, we see that it generates all sorts of Laravel components, but it's not just generating the stubs for these. It's actually using the definition from this YAML file to generate these intelligently. We see that the migration generated a posts table using the columns we defined, but it also added the ID column as well as the timestamps automatically. We didn't have to specify those in our model definition. So again, just some convenient conventions that Blueprint uses to improve the developer experience. We can also take a look at the post model that's generated, and we see that it, again, generates not just a stub, but actually puts columns in the fillable property and the cast properties, as well as the dates properties. It'll also automatically generate any relationships using column names which follow a ID suffix. We see that it also creates a post factory, again, using the column definition to intelligently fill each field with faker data. Moving on to the controller, we can see that Blueprint generates the complete controller, so not just the actions, but also the body within each of those actions. In this case, for index, querying all posts and rendering that to a post index view. And since it didn't exist, the post index view was generated by Blueprint, in this case, just a stub. Looking at the store action, we can see that Blueprint generated a post store request form request object. And again, using the model definition was able to generate the appropriate rules for the request data. We also see that Blueprint updated the PHP doc block to reference that request. The body of the method then saves that post using the request data. It sends a mailable creating the mailable with the appropriate fields and assigning them in the constructor. It does the same for the sync media job, the new post event, and also flashes the post title to the session data and ultimately redirects to the post index. We also see that the web routes were updated with a nice resource route for the post controller and only specifying the index and store actions. Again, all this was generated from a 20 line, simple, expressive YAML file. So jump out to Blueprint, scroll through the readme file, and add this to your new and existing Laravel applications to rapidly generate code.